I'm feeling really good about this. I feel like you can never have too many jeans. That's my view. Like, should I be wearing this color? Stuff is just boring. It, it is pirate. This is a pirate shirt. <laughs> My hot tip, get caffeine in you before you do this. Why do I still have this? Hello everybody. Today we are doing a closet decluttering video. And just so you guys know, the vibes today are cozy, no stress, your favorite TV show in the background, a good cup of tea, coffee, whatever your beverage of choice is, and we are gonna get this closet cleaned out. I'm gonna give you guys all my tips because I do this twice a year. Basically, I do this every time the weather gets a little bit warmer, so towards spring, and every time the weather gets a little bit cooler towards winter and like autumn. Also, it is raining outside. We have a good TV show on. We are in comfy clothes, and we're gonna enjoy this process, and it's not gonna be a chore. That's the plan. And we get to do it together, which is really really fun also I have this mug I've had it for a little while now it is one of my favorite mugs ever it's just like the perfect size and I simply love it it is from ecology I think is the brand but it's perfect like look how big it is it's almost the size of my head this is the plan of attack. I'll show you guys on the screen exactly what we're doing. We are basically cleaning out my entire wardrobes, which you'll see on my left, and I'll insert a clip here. They are in need of some TLC. It's not good in there. It looks like a bomb's hit it. We're gonna fix it up. We are also gonna go through my chest of drawers, which are behind you, which just make me so anxious to go in there because they're not fun. They don't make sense, there's no order to them. And they've got a lot of my spring stuff in there. And now that the weather is getting a little bit colder, we can pull out the knits, we can pull out the long sleeve shirts, we can pull out the winter pajamas, which if you know me, you know I like to be cozy. So yeah, there's a lot to go through today, but I'm very excited. These are my two cupboards that we're gonna be cleaning out today. Grand reveal. Disaster. Grand reveal, even bigger disaster. You can see I have all of these wooden coat hangers. This is the first problem. These cupboards don't fit these coat hangers. Every time I go to close this, doesn't close properly. So what I've done, I bought a big bag of plastic coat hangers, $10. And I don't love them. They're not my favorite. They don't look as aesthetically pleasing as the wooden ones, but they fit in the cupboard and they're gonna make it easier for me to go in and actually want to pick what I wanna wear. So first job, is getting everything out of the cupboard, putting it all on the bed, and taking off all of the wooden coat hangers. I have my big bag for all my wooden coat hangers. I've been collecting coat hangers for a really long time because I just love the way the wooden ones look. So I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna use them for when we move and we have better cupboards. Now I also have these coat hangers. I'm gonna keep these in there because they're smaller and they're really good for hanging up like skirts and dresses and things that don't fit on normal coat hangers. So I definitely recommend getting some of those. So I was storing all of my winter like jumpers and things like that and scarves up here in the top section, but we need to fix this up because it just ends up being a dumping ground where I just throw things <laughs> when I'm done with wearing them. So we're gonna clean all of this out as well. <laughs> Why did I know that was gonna happen? But I did it anyway. <laughs> Shoe rack. Why do I have that? I don't know. Like online shopping, things that didn't fit me that I never took back. Why do I still have this? And then this side here is all my active wear. So I usually like to hang up my active wear shirts. We're gonna have to rethink this as well. My hot tip, get caffeine in you before you do this. So I also have these plastic tubs. My biggest tip, if you are someone who likes to have like your winter clothes out near winter or your summer clothes out near summer, and you wanna pack the rest away, this is why I do this two times a year because in like this time of year, for example, where it is getting a little bit cold and I'm probably not gonna reach for my summer pieces so much, they go in here because I'm just not gonna wear them. So there's no point them even being in like the maybe gonna wear pile because they're just taking up space. And these ones are really good. I think I got them from Kmart. 
They're like thin enough and long enough that they fit under the bed. So that's what I'd recommend. Whew. It's a workout, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we're working with and then we will make a start. We've got empty cupboards now, which is great. So much room. And then we have my two tubs here. And then <laughs> I'm embarrassed to even show you how many, show how many clothes are in this pile. This is the mound of clothes that we need to sort through. So we're gonna be here a while. First thing we're gonna do is I'm going to open up all of the black coat hangers. We're gonna go through this big mound. We're gonna put in the pieces that I think I'll wear the most. That's the plan. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. I feel like I'm gonna fit so many more clothes in here as well because the wooden ones are just so thick, like they take up so much room. Beautiful. Love to see it. Okay, the thing is I have so many pants and I don't know what to do with them. I feel like a lot of the jeans, I just want to have them folded. And then work pants, I will hang up. I really like these ones. These ones are just from Target. They're by the Lily Loves brand. And they're just like the perfect, like flowy linen pant. And they're not too long as well for the short gals out there. Yeah, like these coat hangers are perfect for pants. Now, I bought these jeans ages ago from Princess Polly and I just don't think they fit super well. Like I am a short girl and they are very like long from like the crutch area to the top. And I do like the color and they've got a little flare on the bottom, but I've never worn them. So they, I think they have to go. I have this vest. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I feel like this was a very trendy piece last year, but I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it this winter because I don't know if it looks a little bit like cringe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Even over like, the way I used to wear it is over literally a top like this. So high neck black top, long sleeve with the vest over the top and then just with like some flared black pants was my go-to. I might, oh, uh, no, I will keep it for now and then we'll just see how we go. Okay, this dress is very summer, but I think I'm gonna still keep it in my cupboard for now because I don't wanna put all my dresses away. So I feel like then I'll be sad that I have nothing like girly to wear. All I'll have is jumpers. So we'll keep that one out. Okay. And then we have some knits. And I think I've decided I'm gonna hang my knits this time instead of having them up here because they just end up getting messy and then I forget that I have things. Yeah, I think they'll be hung up. I might even put them in the other room. I've got a little bit of like closet space in my other spare room. So these might even go there. But I really love this one. It's from H&M. It's just super slouchy and soft and has a high neck as well. Love this one. This one's literally from Kmart and I was looking for like really nice quality knits, just like super slouchy knits, just for when you don't really wanna put a lot of effort in. I was looking everywhere and I couldn't find one that I liked. And then I literally found this one at Kmart for like $10. Probably not the best quality, but it does the job. I think I've decided that all of my like crew necks will be folded. So like my Taylor Swift hoodie and my jumpers will be folded. And then all of my knits will be in the cupboard. Yeah, I feel like I just don't have the room to be hanging all of my <laughs> jumpers because I have a lot of them. So they'll probably go on this side. You can tell I really went through a phase with this green. It looks gray on camera, but it's like a khaki green. This is from Uniqlo. It's just like a um, waffle knit sweater. I told you, I am a winter girl. I love winter fashion. I love like dressing cozy and warm. I've just never, like I love summer as a season, but I feel like winter fashion just like fits who I am a little bit more. Love this dress. I actually got it from a thrift store. It's like a linen long sleeve. Let me do it up so you can see it. A long sleeve collared dress. And I wear it to work as well. And I get lots of compliments when I wear it. I think the white just goes really well with my dark hair. So love that. And trackies will definitely be folded up. <laughs> this is my leather jacket that I thrifted as well. I wore it out for the first time the other night. Love it. Very, very nice. And you can't go wrong with a leather jacket. Then we've got some button ups. I have this one. It's like a peachy corally color. I don't know if it suits me. What do you guys think? I don't know if I'm more just like a white button up girl or if I can pull it off. I haven't worn it many times. It's from Nude Lucy. We'll keep it for now. And if I don't reach for it, next time we do this, we will clean it out. This is one I think I'm gonna throw away. It's from Dish. It's got like cinched, bell sleeves and it's a cropped like linen 
material and I just never reach for it. It just doesn't sit on my body the way I want it to. So I think I'm actually just gonna donate this one. Someone at an op shop is gonna be very happy. I have to keep my coat. I wore this in Japan and I absolutely loved it. It's from Princess Holly. This dress, a tiered dress, and it centers in at the waist, and it's very like boho esque. Goes really well with some black boots. I'll keep this one out because I always wear this to work. It's like a gingham tiered dress. My tiered skirt, I'll definitely leave this out. This definitely goes really well with like a sweater. Just need another one of those clippy. Okay. We are back. I also found more of my coat hangers, so that is good. Gosh, I think this is gonna be a bigger job than I thought. I think pants might have to go somewhere else. This is stressing me out. See, I just don't believe that's gonna stay. I really don't. Yeah, that's better. I think jackets are gonna go in my other cupboard. <sighs> okay. I feel like we're making good progress. Vampire Diaries is so dramatic. <laughs> Yes, I swapped over to Vampire Diaries. I wanna know what your comfort show is. I have like four. Vampire Diaries, Gilmore Girls, Gossip Girl, Pretty Little Liars, and Nashville. I've got five. What are yours? Because I don't know if I'll ever get to an age where I don't find these silly little teenage dramas appealing. Cause they're just so dramatic. I love them. And like, yes, there's a certain level of nostalgia, I'm sure, but I just really like them. And I don't think I'll ever not like them. And I think that's totally fine. I think my camera battery is going to die soon. Also, while I have you guys here, I thought we'd do a reading update. So I'm reading the tandem read at the moment of the Throne of Glass series, which I'm absolutely loving, but I just feel like it's taking me forever. And I want to move on to some other books on my TBR, but I can't yet because I've just got like this insurmountable amount of pages left. But I'm actually really liking Tower of Dawn more than I thought I would. I thought I wouldn't because I'm not the biggest Kale fan. But I'm really liking it and I don't know why. I think he's having like a little bit of character development and you know, he's maybe getting a little bit less stuck in his ways. And I like that. Cause he was really annoying me in Queen of Shadows. See, this is really cute, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it in winter. It's just too cold. So maybe this will have to go away. Same with this one. Very cute for summer and spring. Not so much for winter. Now this dress here, I literally haven't worn in years. Like I don't know why I keep it. I used to love it. It's got pockets, but I just don't think it's my style anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. God, my cat is so annoying. I'm gonna keep this one out just as a cute little top to wear with jeans when I go out. Maybe when it gets a little bit cooler and I can throw a jacket over the top. I also never know how much to talk about books on here because I never want to give spoilers away. Like if you're reading the book that I'm reading or if it's a book that you want to read. So that's why I try to keep it pretty vague and just tell you like if I'm enjoying it or not and like what characters I'm enjoying, but I try not to give too much away about the plot. So if you guys like that, let me know. Or if you want me to go more in depth, I can definitely do that as well. I feel like ever since I've had this shirt, it just reminds me of a pirate. Every time I try to wear it, I go, you know what? Can't wear that. It, it is pirate. This is a pirate shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love it. It's very cute. I don't know how I feel about this shirt either. Like it's fine. I think I'm, it's definitely more of like a winter color. So maybe we'll have it in here and just see if I reach for it. Same with this dress. Like I never reach for it. Maybe I should just pack it away for now. I'll put it in here and see if I wear it. And if I don't wear it, then it's going in the bin. And by in the bin, I mean getting donated. Don't worry. This is a summer one as well. This is the op shop bag. So I'm just giving away everything that I haven't worn ever or in the last 12 months. Because there's no point holding on to things that you don't gravitate towards. Like you just don't wear it. So we're getting rid of them. Okay, the part I was dreading. I'm gonna angle you there. These are all the extra coat hangers. Let me put these away. 
Okay, so like I said earlier, these boxes are basically all of the clothes that I've kept from like the previous seasons that I haven't been wearing. I'm gonna empty all of this out and then start putting in the clothes that I've set aside from before back into here and then I'll reassess what I'm gonna wear out of this section. This as well. I did my colors recently. I found out that I don't suit warm toned things. It makes me look really red. So I'm gonna get rid of this, like this, depending on the shade, but I just don't think it's something that I'll reach for. This is for surfing, so we'll keep this. This color, I just don't think it's a flattering color. Christmas pajamas. So you bought this and it just doesn't fit, unfortunately. I don't think it'll ever fit. Number two, let's go. This is from when I ran a 10K and it was the most painful experience of my life. Okay, I think that one's done too. How good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Thanks. Get yourself a man who brings you more caffeine when you need it. And yes, I know it's bad for you. I know, I don't care because we've got a lot to do. <laughs> All right, let's get through this chunk of stuff. <laughs> I feel like you can never have too many jeans. That's my view. See, I love this color, but I don't think I love it on me. And that's the issue. Like, do you see how it's quite warm? Like, I don't think it complements Maybe it does, what do you guys think? Like, should I be wearing this color? I'll still keep it. <laughs> I just think I look better in like blues and things like that and greens. I hate this, this is like a bolero. I bought when boleros were in, never wore it. I thought it looked so strange on me. So that is going. I'm feeling really good about this, I really am. This is gonna go in my drawers, all of my long sleeve shirts I'm gonna put together. Oh, this one has a stain on it as well, we're getting rid of it. This one is so cropped, I literally never wear it. Like, it's tiny, we're gonna get rid of it. This is too small. These are very cute. We're definitely keeping these. I don't know what the top to this is, but they're like bamboo. They're very soft. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, are you guys team Stefan or team Damon? Because I think I will always be a Damon girly. Stefan's just boring. Like, what does he do? He just mopes around and is sad all the time. And that's all we get from him. Yeah, if you are a Stefan girly, I wanna know why. I want dot points, I want evidence, because I just don't see it, and I don't see how it could be possible. Ta-da. This is overwhelming, I have so many clothes. Okay, so game plan is to hang up as much as I can because my drawers get so cluttered that I just feel overwhelmed and I never want to reach into them. And I'm also the type of person that if I can't see something, I forget it exists. So I want everything to be like organized in a way that I can actually see it all so that I don't forget about things. What's the point of having these clothes if you don't wear them? Skirt ever fit me again? I don't know. It's literally tiny. Like, love it. I'll probably still keep it. This is literally ripped. <laughs> Okay, we are done. I'm so happy that took so long. I thought I'd give you guys a quick little tour of everything. Actually, let's start with the closet. This is side one, jeans up the top, trackies and black jeans. And then I've got all of my knits, dresses, shirts and spare coat hangers and then skirts and pants in there. And look at this, it actually closes. 
beautiful, amazing, magnificent. And then in this side, I have my jumpers that hang up, shirts, like workout shirts, and then like the plain shirts that I wear the most. I thought I'd put in here as well, like t-shirts. And then all of my workout singlets that I have as well. And then just some sports bras, but I don't know if I'm gonna put all my sports bras in here. I think I might because I always reach for them. So if they're all in this one spot, it'll be a lot easier. And then I have my jumpers up here as well. They're more like my crew necks. So that's really good. And then over here, we have pajamas. I've got my winter ones in here as well. Workout shorts, workout bike shorts, and then workout tights. Shirts. I have a lot of shirts, I know. There's a lot of long sleeve shirts in there. I've also just got my basic shirts and then some of my work shirts in here as well. And then all of my denim skirts and shorts and then my standard shorts and skirts. How good. I also have two full bags of clothes that I'm donating. So I feel really good about that. Feels good to just like let go of the clothes that I no longer wear. It has been a big day, but I feel very accomplished that we got it all done and my space feels so much lighter and cleaner now. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of content, let me know. Sometimes I think you just need a little bit of motivation and someone to come along with you when you are doing your closet clean out. And it just helps so that you don't feel so overwhelmed when you're picking different outfits. It's actually like a lot better. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming along and I will see you in my next video. Bye.